Satisfactory is a game. It is not meant to be an accurate simulation of a factory. And that means that any stuff you ever learn about factories and automation and production, you can probably throw out the window. It's a much more simplified system. You're not paying for any of this stuff. It doesn't, none of it's perishable. It doesn't matter if it sits around in storage forever. So, one little bit of advice I got for you is buffer your production. You can see it here in this copper line, All right? Copper ore comes in, then copper uh, ingots are forged, and they get they sit in this stockpile, and then the constructor turns them into wire. Wire gets stockpiled, and then wire gets turned into cable, which gets stockpiled. Why bother with all this? Well. You actually do want your production to back up. There's no cost, there's no clogs, there's no actual issue with doing so. And it turns out that you'll find that often you'll need things from earlier in the chain. And it's way easier to go to a storage container and just grab a big spool of wire than it is to go to partway through your chain, go to the constructor, get whatever wire currently is sitting in it, uh, and then do that. So. It's a lot simpler to just build the buffering in to begin with. Yes, eventually you want to make things more efficient. And when that happens, sure, you can build an extra smelter. You can start tweaking things. You can start playing around with power values to adjust the production rate to match the later ones. But none of that fundamentally matters. If you're slightly overproducing things, then stuff will just back up and you'll have stuff handy for when you kind of need it now and need to do some of your own production. That's your piece of advice for today. Tune in next time for something more exploration based.